Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better day because I guarantee you guys are surely coming to you all for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different's World and you come and learn what's going on with the girl. And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker and senior of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC. We're a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, entertain, and inspire you guys all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, you guys. I truly appreciate it. Uh, today is June 18th, 2023. Um, Today is our two-year anniversary of our having my YouTube vlog, and so, yay! I got the little showers and, and, and little parade watermarks going right now. So, you guys, I'm so happy we've reached another milestone here at Third Eye Entertainment uh, with my YouTube channel. It's been two years now since uh, it's been up and running, and we've been posting content for you guys constantly and consistently. We have up over 150 now. Of uh, videos uh, for you guys in telling my motive from my motivational, my social awareness, podcast interview, my pop culture reviews, as well as my travel interviews. Uh, uh, adventures you guys from me traveling all over the world and so it's been a roller coaster and I'm very excited to you, you guys to drop it with you guys today it's Sunday and so you guys know on Sunday we do our spiritual motivation and with this um, I like to you know into my motivation vlog and my spiritual motivation uh, in one and so with that uh, this one is going to be entitled uh, Moving On in, in regards of a spiritual aspect um, what, what God commands us to do when, when we're hurt by some things or someone from our past and we're stuck on it and can't move forward in life and wondering why we can't reach our goals or our top potential, what's holding us back and when you look back on it or you really peel back the layers like how I did and seeing that it was me, you know, holding on to my past, the shoulda, coulda, woulda of what could have or should have happened to me or what I was expecting. Um, I had issues, you know, attachment issues to where, you know, I was stuck on not that person itself, but just that fantasy of the person and, you know, having it hard to let go of what I thought that person was to be. Um, as well as things or situation that didn't work out for me, you know, sometimes I stayed stuck on that and, and held a grudge and things like that. And so me, myself examining as to, you know, why or what's taking so long, in my opinion, for me to, you know, reach my highest potential or to, to make it to the next level that comes in tune with getting your mental health in check. And when you peel back the layers and you examine what it is that really stops you, you see that and, and, and you see those issues and you have that opportunity to address that issue or to let it dwell and, and, and grow and manifest in something bigger and much worse. And so um, it's important to move on from, you know, trials and tribulations and not stay stuck on the point of having trials and tribulations come in and out your life is so that you can learn and grow from it. And not, it's not to, you know, harm you, so to speak. It's meant to build you up. As I said, what doesn't break you will make you. As well as, you know, it, it's in the Bible, so to speak. You know, it says in Isaiah 43:18, it states, forget the former things. Don't hold on to the past move on and let go for God loves you and he has a wonderful life planned for you so it's in the Bible it can, God commands us you guys to let go of the past to move on and to forgive uh, forgive yourself forgive others forgive the situation and it says that all throughout the Bible so those that are on the spiritual walk you can't be you know on the spiritual walk and not abiding by the rules and regulations of what it's laying down and so if you want to move forward in life you have to cut that dead weight you got to let all it you got to drop all those baggage you know you can't fly with all that dead weight on you and so you have to let it go and move on um rather me you know yip yapping and jaw japping like i said when it comes to motivating you guys you need to hear from more than one person and so uh i, I love looking online and finding dope inspirational vlogs or videos and i found i came across uh this 
dope uh, pr production content, a content production team uh, called Motivational Vibes, and they did a little uh, collaboration video with a uh, mesh of TDJ's Joel Osteen as well as Steve Harvey talking about the aspects of moving on in life and moving forward and letting go ultimately of the past, the things that have hurt you or people that have let you down in life. And so without further ado, check it out. And once we come back on, we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in different world, you guys. So here it is. Check it out. There is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Sometimes the breakup is the blessing. See, sometimes you got to get rid of a man in order for God to give you the man that you really need. You just have to hang in there. He might have something better for you. Don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't make. And that's it. What do you do when what God gave you to ride in starts coming apart? Do you give up hope? Do you walk away? I don't want you to define success or to ask God to preserve the temporary. See, God promised to get you there, but he didn't say how. And if you're not careful, you will put all your energy and you'll put all of your work into preserving something that God only gave you for a season. God brings some people in your life to get you from point A to point B. The thing you was counting on to get you to the other side. The job you thought you'd retire with. The house you thought you'd have the rest of your life. And the storm got it. How many of you have lost some stuff in the storm? Lost some people in the storm? And it made you feel like a failure? It was a temporary blessing. If it was meant to stay, it couldn't leave. You're in love with what you had. And you think that if your life does not retain the shape that you started with, you don't think that it can get you where you're going. I have learned that every blessing doesn't come to stay. Every friend is not gonna be a lifelong friend. And if they walk away, don't stand there and cry over what was, because if you'd have needed them for the future, they would have stayed. God put people in your life for a reason. Others are there for a season. And it's very important that you recognize when people's seasons are over. God put people in your life for a reason. Other people are there for a season. Is the season over? Or have you decided because you're desperate because you just need validation. You need all of these people and things around you. You've decided to drag these random people into the new season of your life. You have a boat. And your boat is at its capacity. And in order for your boat to not sink and go underwater. And that could be your career. That could be your life. That could be your your personal life, your relationships. Is that relationship over? Do you feel mentally, spiritually, and emotionally stimulated in that relationship? Are you just holding on to it because you got this concept of loyalty that you have overused, overused, and overabused? Well, I've learned that loyalty has an expiration date. Loyalty isn't some open-ended thing that just goes on forever because technically some people just don't really make sense for your life and the new season, the mind and the space that you're in. Think about this. This is, this is, the, this is a reminder that loyalty has an expiration date. 
You ever been in a relationship with some folks three years ago and then you run into them and then you're like, man, what was I thinking, dating her or dating him? And you almost want to beat yourself up for even the fact that you were in love or had all of these ridiculous feelings for this person. That shows you right there that that loyalty has an expiration date. You could never see yourself not being with that person. But at a certain point, all of the signs and wonders revealed itself that that relationship is over. So if you had drugged that person, those people, those friends into the new season of your life, your life wouldn't be going as well as it's going right now. We all have things happen to us in life that we don't understand. Doors that have closed or people that have turned on us. It's easy to live frustrated and fight against everything we don't like. We think that it's holding us back. Everything serves his plan. Not just the good things. The person that walked away is serving his plan. If that wouldn't have happened, you couldn't reach your destiny. What you couldn't see was God had something better. You may not like it, it doesn't seem fair, but it's serving His plan. When you understand that everything serves His plan, then you won't live frustrated. You won't get upset because you didn't get your way. The person that walked away wasn't a coincidence, it was God moving them away. We need to see difficulties in a new light. How do you know that closed door, that disappointment is not setting you up for something that you've never seen? The scripture says our steps are being ordered by the Lord. If you weren't supposed to be there, you wouldn't be there. Don't be upset over that person that's trying to make you look bad. You need them to reach your destiny. It wasn't a coincidence. It's positioning you for something bigger. Sometimes it's going to feel like you're going backwards. You have to trust him when you don't understand. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord. Now the test, while it's not good, will you stay in faith? When it's unfair, will you believe that God is still on the throne? That what he started in your life He's going to finish. God will use people being against you to move you into your purpose. You need people that try to throw you into the pit so you can take your throne. People can't override what God has ordained for you. I wonder if you're upset over something that's serving his plan. A person that walked away doesn't make sense Stay in peace. It's all a part of the plan. God knows what you're going to need in the future. Many of the challenges that you're facing now, they don't have anything to do with now. It's positioning you for something in your future. You will see how God will begin to connect the dots. Instead of being bitter, have a new perspective. It's serving His plan. The betrayal, the closed doors can be discouraging. It's not working against you, it's working for you. God will never close a door without opening a bigger and a better door. If you'll keep the right attitude, one day you'll look back, Lord, thank you for closing that door. Thank you for moving that person out of my life. I would have never met my amazing spouse. We don't grow in the good times. Everyone is for us. Things are falling into place. We grow when it's difficult, when we have to stretch. That's why you can't pray away every challenge. And if the situation is not changing, then God is using the situation to change you. If God made everything easy for us, we wouldn't be ready for where we're going. God has amazing things in your future. But to get there, you're going to have to defeat some big giants, outlast some strong opposition. You have to stand strong and show the opposition that you're more determined than they are. 
That challenge is not going to defeat you. It's going to promote you. Instead of complaining about what's not turning around, see that as an opportunity to develop your faith. Keep doing the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. Keep thanking God when you don't see any sign of it. His grace doesn't mean he's going to remove every challenge. It means he's going to increase your strength so it doesn't feel as difficult. Now you can handle what you couldn't handle in the past. What used to bother you doesn't bother you anymore. God has a plan. You will grow through what you go through. Everything that you're going through, at some point, it makes no sense to you right now. But at some point, God is going to reveal to you why all of these issues, challenges, and problems continue to show up and what you were supposed to learn from it. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy watching that and inspirational vlog from Motivational Vibes. Be sure to check them out. Uh, as you guys seen, it was a mesh of uh, three speakers, including T.D. Jakes, Joe Osteen, as well as Steve Harvey, talking about the importance of letting go of the past and moving on and moving forward in life. You know, like I said before, things that come into our life that, you know, seem to be disappointments or setbacks are usually what sets us up for our comebacks. And so if you really look at it or you take a step back from, you know, the things that you went through in life and see to where has gotten you for those who have you know kept going and striving forward in life if you look back on it and see to where it has gotten you now you will see that those steps were ordered you know it had prepared you for what you are facing now and so even in life when you know it, it from a young age to you know the day that you die we are going to deal with trials and tribulation and it's going to be things that come against us that makes us mad upset it hurts us we want to pay back we want revenge you know and but you have to just you know make that choice really am i going to let this hold me down or am i going to let this go and keep moving forward and keep flying and and, and elevating and growing in life keep living keep learning and keep loving that's what it's all about and so, you know, in my 20s, I had a very hard time of letting go of the past. I was holding on to things that happened to me coming up, you know, in my childhood, being out on the streets, dealing with foster care and going through college. I had a lot of weight and baggage on me that was keeping me down. And I just recently learned when I you know, started doing my therapy sessions, just how bad it was for me and why I couldn't go anywhere. Because mentally I was stuck in that bondage to where, you know, so much I had put myself into it. It's not necessarily what these people did to me that was keeping me down. It's just, it's just what's the aspect of it, the attachment of it. You know, it was hard for me to let go. And so piece by piece, what I've been doing is to detach myself. Things, it's not going to happen overnight especially if you've been stuck on something for so long since you were a kid it, it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take time sometimes you're going to go back to what you know sometimes you know those negative forces will come against you to try to keep you down but you have to remember to you know break yourself out of that mental bondage and keep pushing forward in order to keep moving forward and letting go whatever is holding you back if it's not doing you no, no good, it's not bringing you the whole type of prosperity, let it go and move on. That's all you have to ask yourself. Is this, you know, causing me to lose sleep at night or am I getting a good night rest thinking about things like this? You know, because another thing you have to think about is, you know, anything or somebody that has hurt you in their past, don't even think or expect that they're going to come back and mend your broken heart. They done moved on to their next victim. They So you have to remember, whatever you went through, even as a child or adult, it may or may have been not your fault, may have been out of your control. But at the end of the day, it is your problem to deal with and it's on you to fix because you're the one that's losing sleep at night. You're the one that's holding on to that baggage and it's not, you know, doing you no good. And so you have to make that decision and that choice. Am I going to stay stuck in the past or am I going to move on and move forward and move up in life? And so uh, with that being said, you guys, if you like what the topic I'm talking about in regards to moving forward, excuse me, moving forward, uh, definitely show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. That's definitely appreciated because it's our two year anniversary today. That's all I want is just for you guys to hit that subscribe button and share the video, comment down, uh, interact with me guys. I definitely want to interact, interact with you guys. I appreciate all the love and support as well as you guys, don't forget, 
go to my website, differenceworld.net, and check out all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I got a lot of things going on. Tomorrow's Juneteenth. Uh, Saturday, I had an event. I got, finally got a chance to meet Mr. Roland Martin. I've been trying to reach out to him, get on his podcast uh, show. So I took it a step forward and uh, went to one of his events and got a chance to meet and greet with him and put a little bug in his ear. And now he knows my face. And so uh, that's a part of going for yours and reaching your dreams and goals, man. You have to do whatever it is in order to, you know, get there. And so here I am and living at, I'm living proof. I'm not there yet, but I know it's coming. And so uh, be on the lookout for that, you guys. Tomorrow's Monday, I'll be dropping our motivation vlog in honor of Juneteenth. Uh, again, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn. As well as, don't forget anybody out there that's looking for motivational speakers, you guys can hit up your girl on my website as well. I'm free of charge. Or if you'd like to do a collaboration on an interview, uh, definitely get at your girl. Again, my website, differenceworld.net, as well as it has my book on the website. You guys can get your copy of What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, this book was written to it encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice in America and I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations so again you guys please be advised that this is intended for a mature audience it has sensitive content so again if you can't take this type of heat still come on to the kitchen why because that's the point of it all you guys is to get the conversation rolling that needs to be had for people that like to turn a blind eye or sweep things under the rug you know we need to have these conversations in order to create systemic change and so go to my website differenceworld.net and get your copy of what if a controversial paradigm shift you guys i definitely truly appreciate all the love and support that i am getting being that it's juneteenth uh this is one of the biggest time to promote my book and so um promotion non-stop is coming your way <laughs> with this uh, uh book you guys so um again go to my website differenceworld.net and get your copy and moving on uh, what else we got on the Difference World Agenda? Tomorrow is Monday. Like I said, we usually do our motivation on Monday, but tomorrow is also Juneteenth. And so I'll be doing a little uh, mesh with Juneteenth and Motivational Mondays. And so again, hit that notification bell. So when I drop the content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn what's going on with your girl. Yeah. Uh, what else we got, you guys? Uh, moving on down the train. Um, we have our mental health check. Of course, you guys can't forget about that for anybody, including myself. That may be going through any type of mental anguish, including, you know, stress, anxiety attacks, depression, suicidal thoughts, even dealing with bullying, having relapse, whatever the case may be, please know that it's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Whatever that may mean to you, getting help from a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby. Uh, mending broken bridges, cutting people off who mean you know well, even if you need to get on medication. Do whatever it is that you have to do to keep yourself or your, and your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. Or for those that are outside of the U.S. that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can check out incounseling.com. Again, that is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, you have to remember to do your own homework and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters, not anybody else. Also, I want you guys to remember, whatever trial and tribulation that you guys are going through at this time of your life, please know that this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end, it's not an option. It's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay? All right, you guys. So and moving on from my mental health check and bringing it back to some more positive energy before we close out, you guys. Again, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the vlog I brought with you guys today and uh, the topic of moving on, as well as don't forget God commands it, Isaiah 43, 18. Like I said, it says it. I'm going to repeat it again. It says, do not form or on the, excuse me, do not, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot just to forget. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Uh, move on and let go. 
for God loves you and he has a wonderful life plan for you guys. That's all you have to do. Remember when you think it back and you're having a hard time moving on from the past, just remember that that's a commandment from God to move on. And so again, if you like the vlog that I brought with you guys today, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. Don't forget, uh, as well as don't forget uh, for you guys. Remember, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.